Hey guys, I hope you're ready for a huge transformation in our kitchen. I'm going to be transforming under our kitchen sink. It was an absolute disaster and I'm going to be sharing all of the organizers that I use, some organizing hacks, a lot of cleaning hacks in this video that I'll be sharing with you as well as some fall deep cleaning. We're going to be doing a lot today so give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get moving. Hey guys, welcome to Jamie's Journey. And before we get started in today's video, because there's so much, so much in this video for you guys, I hope you're excited. I'm excited about this video. But before we get into that, I just wanna take a moment and thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day, your busy week to be here with me. I hope that you can take something away from this video and it can help you. I hope it brightens your day and makes your day better. So just thank you for being here. If you guys want to know how I deep clean my microfiber cloths, we're going to be doing that later on in the video. So those were sitting there. They were pretty dirty, so I knew it was time for a deep clean. I do some like regular maintenance cleaning most of the time, and then later on I do some deep cleaning. So I will show you step by step how I deep clean my microfiber cloths. And yes, this is our dirty microwave. So embarrassing. Um, but the girls have been heating up their own food using my angry mama to clean you just add white distilled vinegar and a little bit of water you put it in there I think I put it in for seven minutes and it just kind of sprays the vinegar and water all over the microwave and then it makes it easy to wipe down we're gonna be organizing next but make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you a cleaning hack that you probably have never heard of it involves the oven and it involves taking the door off and cleaning under the door in between the glass panes of the oven door where i'm also going to be sharing how to keep your window screens cleaner for longer and how to extend the cleanliness of your window sills with a cleaning hack so a lot more we're going to be doing later on in the video
someone else recommended this shoe cleaner. I was trying it on Addison's favorite shoes. I knew they wouldn't come completely clean, but Avery has a set of white Nikes, completely white, that she wears every single day. So I got those mainly for her, but I wanted to try it out on these shoes. And it's a nice little kit. I like how it's all there and you don't have to wash them in the washing machine. When I've cleaned tennis shoes before with like a cream cleanser then I feel like I have to wash them in the washing machine so this shoe cleaning kit is just perfect to do a quick scrub and I've been using it on her white Nikes lately. Are you ready for it? Do you want to see the mess? It's so embarrassing and I'm so happy that I'm finally spending the time and tackling this space. So I hate to stop right now because I'm totally in the zone and I cannot wait to tackle this, but I'm gonna go help out at the girls' school. I had to be there at a certain time, so I gotta stop. I'm gonna eat something really quickly, change my clothes, and then head over there. But then when I get back, I should have some time before the girls get home to finally clean this out and completely organize it. All right, all changed and ready to head out of the door. But before I do that, I wanna share something with you guys. So I am admittedly not a very confident person, which is hard to say because I think most of us wanna portray ourselves as a confident person and portray ourselves in a confident way when we're you know, out in public, especially. I've just never been super confident, but I do wanna share something that has made me more confident with also staying true to who I am and what I like. So when it comes to putting anything on my body, whether it's clothes or anything, comfort is always at the top of the list. Comfort over style. Oh, and versatility. I like something that I can wear in a variety of different instances, whether I'm cleaning and organizing or running out and putting on like a little bit of a nicer shirt and going to help out at the girls' school or running errands or any of that. So while I was organizing earlier, I was wearing this bra. It was super comfortable and I was able to leave it on with this little nicer shirt. It's the Skims Wireless Form Push-Up Plunge Bra. And you know, with me being, you know, pretty flat chested, you know, it has its pros. I will say this, it has its pros. I actually overall don't mind it on the day to day, but there are times where, you know, I wear a shirt like this that maybe I want a little bit of a lift, a little bit of padding to kind of give me a little bit of shape. And this bra does it for me. It makes me feel more confident while also still being comfortable. But stay tuned. I'll be back in a little bit and we're going to tackle under the sink. I know it might seem silly, but this bra has really made me feel good about my body. I feel like it gives me that boost of confidence while still feeling tasteful. I'll share a picture of me in a bodysuit that I wore this past week past weekend with the Skims Wireless Form Push-Up Plunge Bra. Like I said, this bra allows me to feel more confident about my lack of a chest, but I'm also able to be comfortable and stay true to myself. I actually wore this bra under a sweatshirt a couple of weekends ago when we went over to a friend's house to hang around or to hang out and we were sitting around a fire. We got home late and after giving the girls up, getting the girls to bed, I just went straight to bed. I didn't even realize I wore the bra all night long to bed. That's how comfortable it is. And another reason why I love skims is because they have 62 sizes 30a to 46h I promise you you will not be disappointed if you give them a try you can shop skims bras at skims.com slash Jamie and they will ask how you found out about them so make sure you let them know that I sent you after you place your order you can select YouTube channel Jamie's journey and there'll be a drop down menu where you can fill all of that in
So in order to properly organize what I did, like I do with every organizing projects before this day of actually organizing, I went under the kitchen sink, I took an assessment of what I had under there, what did I want to keep under there, what was I going to declutter and get rid of or donate, and then once I knew what I, I was going to keep under there, then I started searching for organizers that would fit the specific items that I had under there, and then I went shopping. I made sure to measure, and all of that prep work made this organizing project this day go a lot smoother. So make sure you're measuring, make sure you're decluttering before you actually start your organizing projects. I know I often get asked where I store all my cleaning products and tools, and most of them, to be honest with you, are kind of scattered throughout the house. I have some in my linen closet upstairs. I have some in every bathroom, some here under the kitchen, but a lot of the back stock that I have, so if there's like cleaning products on sale, or like when I place my JAWS orders, I'll just get a bunch of pods at once. I store all of those in the laundry room, so I'm very grateful to have all of that cabinet space in the laundry room, but yeah. I have a lot of extra like backstop cleaning products in there, but I just placed an order with Jaws and was able to get all of these pods and kind of stock up for this organizer. But we are almost done with organizing under the sink. I will share with you guys what it looks like, but there is so much more cleaning left. So stay tuned. We have cleaning hacks. We have deep cleaning, cleaning window sills, cleaning grout, cleaning screens, a yummy one pot meal. So a lot left in today's video. So I talked about going to a friend's house for a fire earlier on in this video, and I guess it's that season, right? I mean, it kind of is, at least here in Northwest Ohio, but this was kind of the same situation with Avery's bathroom. I mean, really, it's all three girls' bathroom, but they, last Saturday, were having a spa day. So Mike and I were watching football, and the girls were doing their own spa day up here in the bathroom. Last minute, we have a friend, we, like most of our friends live within like a mile or two from us and so sometimes I mean we're all busy with our you know our own kids and families and all of that 
and occasionally we'll like send out a text like hey who's around who wants to get together and so we ended up like last minute going over to our friend's house for another fire after the football game and all the kids are running around and playing and so we just kind of left the mess so that was Saturday night, and then on Sunday, Avery had three softball games about an hour and a half away, so we were pretty much gone all day on Sunday, so I was tackling this bathroom by myself. I actually haven't cleaned it in a while, so it made sense. Avery does maintenance cleanings, you know, she'll wipe things down occasionally um, to keep it clean, but she's nine, so I like to come in and do the heavy duty cleaning maybe once a month if I can. So it ended up being perfect. And this electro electronic scrubber, you're actually gonna see me use this a lot in this video. You're gonna see me use it on the oven, which cannot wait to show you how I clean that. So here I was just using some Clorox wipes and then the Clorox toilet wand, which I've been experimenting a little bit with different ways to clean the toilet. And there's different, like using a silicone brush or there's a, the pink stuff has a foaming toilet cleaner that I do like. But at the end of the day, I think I always kind of come back to the Clorox wands more often than not. I just like how I can clean the toilet and then, you know, discard the little cleaning pod I just wish you could flush them I think that's the one downfall that you can't I wish you were able to flush them but that's usually my downfall <laughs> Something I want to show you guys that could help you that didn't I didn't really have the need for. So when I was going through and trying to figure out what organizers I wanted under the sink, again, I've talked about this before. If you want to properly organize a space, there's prep work you have to do. So um, a couple of weeks ago, I went in, I did all the measurements under the sink, um, got measurements, um, took stock of what things I wanted to get rid of, what things I wanted to keep, and then looked for specific organizers for the different types of groups. So the pods, the jaws cleaners, and so on. So did that a couple weeks ago, and I had ordered a few things that I thought might end up working, and they didn't, but I think they're all solutions for you guys, um, but they could be solutions for you guys if you want them. So 
this is one thing. So they're command, the command brand, and they're essentially little hooks you can put on the cabinet door so you can hang like a cleaner. If you often use like a dish soap, you can put like the Dawn Power Wash or any type of spray dish soap. Or if you have your favorite multi-purpose cleaner that you're grabbing multiple times a day, you can have it right there so you can grab it. I didn't really have the need for them. I thought about it, but I'm like, I have my dish soaps right there. I have all of my main cleaners right there. So I just felt like it would have been a little bit repetitive, not to mention everything is pretty much stacked in here. So there's not a lot of room when you close the door. So you do have to have enough space between where the cabinet door closes um, and whatever you have in your cabinet. But I've seen a lot of people use these and I just think it's a good way, a great way to utilize space that would otherwise not be used. So if you're limited on space, definitely check these out. The other thing I thought about doing, but again, didn't really have the space for it because if you put anything on here, um, there's just not enough space between the cabinet door and what I have inside, but it would be a paper towel holder. So I came across somebody who had it like this. So you could have it like right on here. This one has like a little adhesive on the back. So you can stick it right there and then you can just slide your paper towels and grab them off really easily under your sink. So I actually might end up keeping this and putting it in a different cabinet because I don't know. I'm one of those people that likes to have everything kind of tucked away. Um, I don't like having a lot of things out on the counter. I want the bare minimum on the counter. So I just thought this was like another good idea if you need a way to hide away your paper towels. All right, so now I'm getting ready to deep clean those microfiber cleaning cloths. Like I said, I don't do this all the time. Normally what I do is when I'm cleaning my microfiber cloths on a weekly basis, I collect them in a bucket or a bucket or here in the laundry sink, and then I'll wash them in one load. I just wash them in the washing machine on a delicate cycle with cold water and some laundry sanitizer and just some regular laundry detergent. You don't wanna use fabric softener and I dry them on low heat. And then when it comes to actually deep cleaning, so here I was cleaning out the sink since I had them sitting in there all week long. And I was gonna combine laundry sanitizer. So Lysol makes one, Clorox also makes one. Some OxyClean, so OxyClean powdered, um, put in there two scoops and then some laundry sanitizer So I do this and I just let it sit all day long I'll occasionally go in there and kind of agitate it with you'll see me take the mop um, my o cedar mop Pole and kind of put it in there to kind of submerse the rags under the water And then occasionally throughout the day I'll come in here and kind of agitate it and then when it's time to clean them in the washing machine I'll show you what I put in the washing machine There is another ingredient that I add in that you probably don't know of so I will share that here in a little bit Yes, you can take off your oven door for better cleaning and wait till you see all the crud that gets in between the oven door and the actual oven. So you just kind of take it. Mike took um, a screwdriver and just kind of popped up those little hinges and then you kind of maneuver it a little bit and it slides right off. So if you are a newer follower of mine, you may not know, but you know how sometimes you want to clean the inside of the glass. There's two panes. There's a pane here and there's one on the other side. There are holes in the bottom of the oven door where there's openings right here that go into the inside. So it's not a perfect way to clean the inside, but it's about the best you're going to get. So I'm going to tackle trying to clean inside as best as I can. And I'll show you guys.
Now I'm going to tell you, this isn't easy to do. It's not perfect. The whole glass isn't perfectly clean, but in my case, it's about the easiest or the best way that I can do it. So um, I just wrapped a microfiber cloth around a wire hanger. Then I sprayed the microfiber cloth with some multi-surface cleaner. And what it does is it just goes in there and kind of grabs any dirt, um, any surface dirt on the inside of the, the oven door, I guess, the glass oven door and you'll see me pull it out here in a little bit and it was pretty dirty in there i'm sure it's mostly dust but it's about the best you can get there's two holes in the bottom of the oven door that you can kind of like stick it in there like i said it's not easy but it's you know it works So while I had the oven door off, I was doing a good deep cleaning with my Jaws Cream Cleanser. And so what I did is I put it in there, I used my electronic scrubber, and I like using this razor. So these razors are great. I got them off of Amazon, and one side is plastic, which is what I'm using here. I almost never use the actual razor blade, the, the metal razor. Sometimes I'll do that if, like, say I'm trying to get a sticker off of something or something's really stuck on there. But for the most part, I do use the plastic razor, and it's great. Um, you know on the oven door, you get those little like brown spots that are just really really hard to get off you use this little plastic razor and I promise you they will come right off this little razor comes in handy in so many ways and it's super cheap <music> So that's what I was talking about. There was all that black stuff, probably, you know, stuff, food that has fallen through, that has gotten kind of charred down there, cooked and sat there for probably the entire time we've lived in this house. So it helps to take off that oven door. Okay, so now time to put the microfiber cleaning cloths in the actual washer. All I do this time is I add powdered Tide and laundry sanitizer again, and then borax. Borax is a laundry booster. It boosts the cleaning powder power of the laundry detergent. It's also it also helps eliminate odors and aids in disinfecting. So if you have a front loader like I do, I add the laundry sanitizer in the fabric softener compartment. I add the borax directly in the drum, and then I'll add the Tide in the um, powder flap department. If you have a top loader. 
I would just add this in a um, one of those like downy balls that kind of release it when it's the appropriate time of the cycle. I added this straight to the drum and then I would add that straight to the drum. So it is that time of the year, starting to clean up outside for the winter, which is not fun, but it has to be done. So I was cleaning my window screens out in the back in our kitchenette area, and then I was going to clean the window sills back here. Um, so I was just cleaning the screens. I used cold water and Dawn dish soap, and I scrub that with the scrub brush really good, hose them down, and then you'll see what I spray on them to help keep them cleaner for longer. And then here for the window sills, I'm using my Amazon hand steamer. This stuff just blasts all of that gunk that's in the window sills away. Now, I will say, you're going to see this happening. So you're doing that, and the dirt does at times kind of fly up. But... I think it's worth it because what it does is I was able to clean all of the each windowsill in less than five minutes because you take the the hand steamer it kind of gets everything wet blasts everything away it loosens the debris and the dirt and the grime in the windowsill so then it's almost super easy just to quickly wipe down with the rag so I probably go over it with the hand steamer like probably twice and do two rounds of wiping it down and it gets an all all into the cracks and crevices of the windowsill and it's just I don't know hand steamer for the win for the windowsills one of the best ways to clean windowsills I think almost done here and I'm going to share another cleaning hack with you something that I do to kind of extend the, the cleanliness of the window sills for a little bit longer. All 
right, so this is another cleaning hack for you. Spray, any type of duster spray. I have Pledge, it could be the knockoff version, it could be whatever. A dust spray, you spray it on the window sills, and what it does is it helps propel, or it helps repel any dirt or grime getting in here. Now it's not gonna last forever. Um, you will have to clean these, but it makes it so you don't have to clean it necessarily, you know, every month or every other month or thing like that. So just a little thing to kind of extend the life and the cleanliness of the windowsills. cleaning the windows with my spray away glass cleaner and then we'll go outside and I'll show you what I spray on my window screens to help keep them cleaner for longer and not attract as much dust and dirt. We have a lot of dust and dirt flying around our house with all of the new builds going up. So I'll share that next and then I'm going to share a one pot meal that we made this week that it was the first time I tried it. It was simple, very healthy and everyone loved it. The twins gave it a thumbs up approval. spray WD-40 on your window screens and it's the same concept as the pledge for the window sills. It kind of helps repel that dirt and keep them a little bit cleaner for a little bit longer and it just is nice especially as we're moving into the colder months. I'm not going to be cleaning the scre screens until next spring so I like to do this. It helps keep them clean especially with all of the dust surrounding our, our house right now. look lovely don't I <laughs> I probably should not be showing my face on camera um, I've been doing editing most of the day but it is time to start making dinner so I'm gonna make a new recipe I'll share it with you guys I'm hoping everyone likes it I found it on TikTok, and it's a Bible recipe so a lot of people seem to like it so we will see I think if the girls like it then that will be a testament if it's truly a good recipe but I'll let you guys know if we like it if the girls like it and it's a pretty simple one pan meal doesn't take that long I think it takes less than 30 minutes so let's see how good this recipe is All right, so this one pot meal is a chicken, lemon, chicken, rice meal. So what you do is you take chicken thighs and you're essentially cooking them. I season them with like a, I think it's a salt, pepper, and garlic um, seasoning, seasoning blend. And then I cooked the chicken, the chicken thighs almost through. And then I put them on a plate, added some garlic, and then you're going to see me add one cup of rice in there one cup of rice. I'm going to add in some lemon juice, some chicken broth. So one cup of chicken broth I'll add here in a minute. So one cup of chicken broth. I think I added a little bit more than one cup, but a cup of chicken broth, a lemon, some kale, 
and you're cooking that all together in the seasonings and the rice and then to add a little bit of creaminess I added some coconut milk so coconut milk and you kind of let that all mix together all of the yum yummy flavors and then you will see me add this to a casserole dish I don't know why I made it in a pan but then you're gonna put it um, in the oven so I added the chicken thighs back over the rice and kale and I'm going to put it in the oven to cook it a little bit longer cook the rice a little bit longer for about 15 minutes and you guys the flavor was out of this world it was so good so I'm kind of laughing because I've been forcing myself to cook more meals more non crock pot meals more of a variety literally every single week and the one downfall to cooking, especially if you're not using a crock pot, is the mess. I know that sounds ridiculous. Maybe if you love to cook, you don't even notice the mess, but even just like frying up the chicken thighs, there was grease all over the stovetop and the counter, and I'm like, ah, it drives me crazy, but it's like, well, if you're gonna cook, you're gonna have messes, and I hate the messes, and I'm cleaning up as I go. Just wanted to throw that out there. Just as I cook more, try different recipes, I've just noticed there's just so much more messes all around but it's worth it because the kids are eating more they're trying new things and i know it's good for everyone but <sighs> just hate the messes okay girls what do you think about the dinner good i really love my favorite thing is the rice and i like that my favorite thing is the rice and the hot mess Jamie over here, but I am gonna close out the video. I'm actually uploading all the footage right now and Addison and Emery are sitting here with me. I think we're gonna turn on a movie and relax for the rest of the night. But I wanna say thank you guys so much for being here and hanging around to the very end. You guys are the best because I know not too many people are here at the end. So you guys are, are amazing. I'm so grateful to have you a part of this community. So thank you. And again, don't forget to check out Skims. Once I tried their clothes, their bras, their intimates, whatever I've tried there, I promise you I have loved. They have over 62 sizes, so there's a size for everyone. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I haven't been disappointed at all, and I love it all. So go check them out. The link is in the description. And don't forget, if you do order anything, it just help, helps them know where you came from, that you came from my YouTube channel. So make for sure you take that survey and let them know where you came from. I think it just helps them know like how to track everything um, and just lets them know that you came from Jamie. So thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.